Hello everybody and welcome to my new tutorial about FreeCAD CFD OF. This will be my tutorial number nine. In this tutorial, I will show you how to simulate the Kármán vortex. The results of the simulations are time dependent. This means that a transient simulation must be used. We will use a 2D simulation in order to save simulation time. Now this is a simulation model for the von Kármán vortex. Um, we will have a pillar in the middle, not right in the middle, but a bit on the left with a diameter of 30 millimeters. The, the plate where, where, we, um, where we will do the simulation will have an overall length of uh, 0 0.55 meters and the uh, distance will be 0 0.3 meters. The pillar has a distance of 0 0.15 meter from the left side. So first we have to determine the inlet speed. First we have to determine the inlet speed. We need the kinematic viscosity. The medium we will use is air. So you see the viscosity and the dynamic viscosity of air. The density is 1.2 kilogram per meter and per second. So the Reynolds number for this uh, application is given um, by the speed of the medium, the diameter of the pillar, and the kinematic viscosity of the medium. We know that the, the von Kármán vortices exist between 40 and 400 as a Reynolds number. So from this we can calculate the necessary velocities the minimum velocity is 0.02 meter per second and the maximum velocity is 0.2 meter per second. For the simulation, we will use a speed of 0.06 meter per second. This will result in a Reynolds number of 120. We will start now with FreeCAD. We go to the part workbench. And we make a new file. We will insert a cube. Um, we will edit the dimension of the cube. So the length is 0 0.55 meters. And the width is 0 0.3 meters. And uh, for the height, we will use 30 millimeters. The height is not uh, really important. But if you use a higher height, then it's uh, better for the representation and it's better for clicking. So we will change also the position in X coordinates. That will be 0 0.15 minus 0, minus 0 0.15 meters. And we will change also the Y direction, also minus 0 0.15 meter. We click on OK. It makes this a bit smaller. So here's the basic plate. The second body we will use is the cylinder. We will also edit the dimensions. Here is given a radius. We want to have a diameter of 30 millimeters, means that we have a radius of 50 millimeters. The height must be higher than the plate, so we will use 40 millimeters. And we will change the position in Z direction to minus 5 millimeters. In the next operation, we will do a cut. So we mark the, first the, the cube and then the cylinder, and we go to cut. So now our model is complete. We can take a look on it. Looks quite okay. So now uh, building up the part has finished. We go to the CFD workbench, insert a new analysis container. 
and we added a physics model, make a double click on it. Um, in this case, this, the time will be transient. Flow is single phase, that's okay. Incompressible, that's okay. And we will have a laminar flow. We click on okay. The fluid properties is air, that's okay. We can leave it like that. The field initialization will be potential flow and potential flow. So in the next step, we must apply some boundary conditions. We click on this uh, plane. This will be the inlet. The velocity in, in x direction is 0 0.06 meter per second. We click on OK. We click on the opposite plane. This will be the outlet. So that's OK. We will click on this plane. So here the boundary condition is wall, no slip, that's OK. But in this case, it makes sense to rename the wall. We will rename the label from wall to pillar. OK. Now we click on the upper plane. Oh, sorry. And the boundary condition is slip. And we click on this plane and click on, on it. So we can say OK. We will rename this label to border. Okay. We click on this plane. This plane is needed for the 2D meshing. We will define this as a constraint and this will be a 2D bounding plane. We click on OK. And we will rename this to the label front side. We will flip the, the whole model and click on this plane. And this will be also a constraint. And this will be a 2D bounding plane. We click on OK. And the boundary condition. The name is backside. Okay. We go now on the on the cut, and we will start meshing. So first we click on the mesh definition, and the element dimension is 2D mesh. The mesh utility is a G mesh. And the base element size is 5 millimeter. We close this. Um, we want to have a refinement. So we go to the definition of the refinement. The refinement will be made via the surface. The relative element size is 0 0.25. And now we must pick the, the surface of the pillar. We say add. And now we have our mesh definition. We click on OK. We go again on the mesh, say right mesh. And now we can start the measure. So now meshing has completed. We can click on load surface mesh in order to review the mesh. So meshing looks quite fine. 
um, you see that we have a very dense mesh, but uh, for this kind of simulation, this seems to be better. We can close and we can go to the solver. Um, we have to edit some properties. One is a transient write interval. We will change this to 0 0.05. And we will also edit the, the end time. End time will be 30. We can now make a double click on the solver and save write. And we let it run and see what happens. The simulation has finished after two hours and five minutes. So it's some kind of very long lasting um, simulation. We will take a look on the residuals. So you see that uh, the residuals um, up to iteration number 500, they are slowly decreasing. Then they go up. And after the iteration number 1000, you see some kind of oscillation. Yes, this comes out of the, the, um, the vortices from the Kármán. And um, so we will see with, if we can see them with Paraview. We start with Paraview. Here we have the first simulation step. So here we have the first simulation step. We will switch from um, pressure to speed. So this is the first step. Um, so you see here that uh, we have an input, um, input speed of 0 0.06 meter per second. And um, near the pillar, the speed is becoming more. And um, on, the, on these phases, the speed is becoming less. And now we will start the uh, let it play. This lasts some time. This, but what you see is that the area where we have um, um, zero speed is becoming larger. And so after three, four seconds, um, it starts to get a bit uh, some kind of uh, um, so currently we do not see the um, we do not see the oscillations, but they will appear soon. So now you see that um, there is on the right side you see some kind of. Um, turbulence and so on. So now the um, oscillation, uh, the vortices are really starting. And now they are nearly complete, but of course they are currently building up and becoming larger. So what, but uh, in, it's important to say that currently we are looking on the um, speed distributions, um, we are looking on the magnitude. And so there are some areas where you have a higher speed than, um, than in other regions. And there are some areas where you have a, a magnitude, uh, where you have a velocity of zero. So now we are at the time at uh, 23 seconds. And now the, we see the von Kármán vortices. Okay, now, now finished. Um, so this shows that our simulation was successful. Um, we will take a look on the, on the steam tracer. We start the steam tracer and we will reduce the streamline parameters. Maximum step will be um, 100. This should be enough. 
and uh, the first point will be minus um, 0 0.14 for both for in x direction. So epsilon direction, that's okay. And in z direction, we will take the mid plane. So this will be This will be 0 0.15. No, sorry, that was 0 0.0. So 0 0.015. These are the points. And we can start. Uh, we have to um, reduce the resolution. For the revolution, we input 100 and we say again apply. So this is what we wanted to see. So here we see the streamline, here we see the, the pillar, and here we see the, the flow going around. It's possible to let an animation run, but um, the streamline is very slow. So I can start, but um, and we can see the, the movement, but, uh, oh, sorry. I wanted to go to 100. Now, okay, this looks very good. That So we see that uh, we have a streamline going up and going down and so on, and looks quite interesting. But the speed is, is very slow, so um, probably you should find a, a way to make it a bit faster, but okay. And you can take also a look on the, on the glyphs, they um, show some interesting stuff. I delete the steam tracers, and now I will insert the, the glyphs. I will uh, reduce the number of sample points to 1000 and I make this invisible and I press apply and then we can let this run. I will start from frame 200. Yeah, this looks quite interesting because you see how the Oscillation is becoming larger and larger, and and now we have the the von Kármán vertices, and you see the um, how the arrows move up and down. And yeah, quite interesting. We will let this run on up to thirty seconds and. That's it. So thank you very much for your attention and I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.